All right, for now, those of you that watched um, some of our sanding videos, this part will make a lot more sense for you. Now, I know people that will rotary everything or DA everything. There's nothing wrong with that either. You can do it however you want. There's a hundred ways to skin a cat. So what I do is I alternate all my grits between rotary and DA. You guys know that, you saw my sanding video. So if I rotary 180, I DA 220. If I rotary 320, I 400 DA and I always finish on a either a 400 or a 600 DA. You guys know that already, you saw my sanding video. Thank you for watching that, I appreciate that. But if I go below 180, I try not to rotary. Rotary on 150, 120, 180, 40, 60 is super aggressive, I'm gonna leave really nasty hooks in it. Once again, I know a lot of people that do that, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying my own personal experience, I don't like doing it for the simple fact it's too aggressive, I find it takes way more time than I want to, and 180 on a rotary is pretty well equivalent to a 120 on the DA. So I find if I rotary at 180, I can accomplish the job I wanna get done anyways. But now, if I go the other way, let's say I DA 180 and I rotary 320 and I DA three, or a rotary 220, DA 320, a rotary my 400 and I still finish up on a DA on my 600. Now, why would I switch up from a rotary 180 to a DA 180? So a rotary 180 is something that's really, really rough and I don't feel like DAing below 180. Now, a 180 DA might just be a tank that's got some light pitting on it that I don't want a rotary at 180 because 180 is gonna take a lot more time and it's gonna dig a lot deeper but if I don't need to go that deep, I'll start with the 180 on the DA. Now, you won't know this until you start to experience it yourself, but sometime when you get a tank or a wheel that's not in terrible shape, start it with the 180 DA in one spot and start it with a rotary in 180 in a spot. And I will guarantee you, if you start with a rotary on 180, you're gonna spend a whole lot more time sanding than if you start with a DA on 180. But just switching those two up is gonna get me a little bit different finish. The 180 on the DA is not gonna quite bite as deep as if I did rotary on the uh, 180. And then the 220, which of course takes out the 180, just swapping back and forth. So you can go from rotary DA, rotary DA, DA, to DA, rotary, DA, rotary, DA. Both of those routes are fine, but this one is less abrasive than this one. So if your tank isn't as bad, you may wanna start here. If your tank is bad, you may wanna start there. But I can also do this. If the tank really isn't that bad, I can start with a rotary 220, go with the DA 320, rotary 400, DA 600. So it's one of those things where you'll eventually just look at it and go, I got a feeling I'm gonna to have to start with 180 or I'm gonna to have to start with 220. Now, if I gotta start with 320, I usually, if it's really not bad at all, and I just can start with 320, I almost always rotary 320, then go to DA 400, DA 600. All right, it's a super quick process. 320 rotary goes really fast. Uh, da 400 and 600 goes really quick. This is one of my quick go-tos for stuff that's just kind of average. It's not rough, it's not heavily pitted or oxidized, it's just real quick. Now these 40, 60, and 80s, don't do that. If you've never sanded before, Avoid anything below 150. For those of you that are inexperienced with sanding aluminum, avoid going below 150 at all costs. Anytime you go below 150, when most people send me pictures of what did I do wrong, and I ask them what they did, they started at 80, or they started at 60, or they started at 40. Please don't do that, because trying to fix it is a very long road, a very difficult process, and it almost always requires taking it to a professional um, I know a lot of people that have tried doing it themselves and just were like, can you find me a polisher in my local area so I can get this taken care of because I can't fix it. I can't fi fix my problem. Um, I watched another polisher on, or a truck driver on YouTube that uh, was doing a polishing job the other day and I watched him sand with um, wood sandpaper. We're going to talk about that in a video real soon too. Um, a wood sandpaper that was... Uh, 180 grit I think and he jumped straight to a 400 
And then when he tried polishing, he didn't really use a whole lot of compound and the whole thing turned black and turned white and gray on him and he couldn't figure out what he did wrong. I wish I could reach out to that guy and explain to him exactly what I think. Um, he didn't need to sand the tank to begin with, but he did. Um, he ended up having a ton of pigtails. What he was seeing in his cut was he was seeing all those little pigtails in there and he didn't cut them out and didn't work them out. So try to avoid a lot of that stuff if possible. Um, polishing, I say anybody can do. Sanding takes another level and sanding and polishing properly takes a whole nother level. So I hope this video makes sense because I've been rambling I think for like 15 minutes now and it makes sense in my head but I don't know if it makes sense for you guys. Um, so needless to say, there's no magic wand. There's nothing up my sleeve. I do everything like everybody else does. I do it the old fashioned way. I don't skip grits. I follow all the way through. I hope this helps. See you next time.